Now in this part of the question, we're told that the sum of the first n terms of the sequence is Sn. And we're asked to find the largest positive value of Sn. Well, how are we going to do this? Well, what you've got to remember is that if you have an arithmetic sequence, a, a plus d, a plus 2d, and so on, that the sum, Sn, of the first n terms is given by this formula here. n over 2 multiplied by twice the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference d. Now the secret of this question is that we already know from the last part of the question, part b, what the rth term was that made this equal to zero. We discovered that it was the 21st term. So what I'm going to do is just rub that out and tell you now that the 21st term was zero. So what does that mean? Well, it means that if we've got a sequence and our, our arithmetic sequence, lots of terms like this, all the way down to the 25th term, which was 0. The 26th term would be minus 1.5, because we'd have to add the common difference to this. The next term would be minus 3, because we'd add another minus 1.5 to that. And it, remember, it started off as 30. And then we would have got the second term, which would have been to subtract 1.5 from this. So this would have been 28.5 and so on. So it's this particular set of numbers that if you add them up all the way down to zero, that's going to be our largest positive value for Sn. So what we really need to do then is add these 21 terms up. So the largest possible value, positive value, would be S21. So we need to set N at 21. OK, so we're going to look at S21. So all I need to do is use this formula up here to get that largest value. So it would be 21 over 2 multiplied by twice the first term, 2A, so that would be 2 lots of 30, which would be 60, plus n minus 1, so remember we're doing n as 21, so that's now going to be 20 times the common difference, minus 1.5. So if you work this out, 20 multiplied by minus 1.5 is going to be minus 30. Add it to the 60, that's 30, so, and, and you've got 30 then times 10.5. So if you do 10 and a half then multiply by 30, you should be able to do that without a calculator. What you find you get is 315. So therefore, the largest positive value of Sn, okay, value of Sn, just write that in so that we know we've answered the question, is equal to 315. Alright, so that brings us now to the end of this question and I hope you've been able to follow my videos.